Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII, Part 85. I'm Nubis from Nubis Let's Plays, and also from CC Productions, and when we last took off, well, we're taking care of the Bloodwing, which is one of the vampire bat blood hunt things, and we're also taking care of the Piscademon, which is the demonic new Mao. Yes, very scary indeed. Anyhow, in this part, we're going to be doing some more hunts, which is no surprise, because... That's all we've got left in the game, basically, besides finding the ultimate weapons and the rest of the espers. Um, so yeah, and I said I wanted to get at least three hunts done, so my plan is, let's get three hunts done. First hunt of today, or of the part, I should say, the Viral of Viral. So, it's rank five, we're going to talk to a Viera Wayfarer. A great store from me, a haver sack containing many important belongings. I seek experienced hunters to join me and reclaim units. Okay, well, that doesn't sound so bad. At least, I hope. I have my fingers crossed. Anyhow, so, there she is. She's located in Balfontham Port. I will meet you all there. So, we're back. Okay, I'm back. And basically, this is where the Vieira Wayfarer is located at the White Cap Pub in Balfontham Port. Jeez, that was a mouthful. Anyhow, I was attacked on this rope step. My belongings forfeit. I would have them returned. The creature was a Viral. Will you slay it? Of course we will. Why wouldn't we? I'm glad to know there is strength and honor, even among humes. I will lend my arm in the hunt of the Viral. I shall await you on this roby step. I do not think the creature will have left. Alright, so Viral the hunt begins. Now, this is very important if you want to get something that is full of awesomeness. Hint, hint, me saying it in slow mo. Okay, I don't even know why I was doing that. Anyhow, first things first. The location, which I will meet you there anyway, is up here in the North Ward. And, um,. Basically, I will show you where it's located in that over there, but the thing is, is once you kill this, you get a certain item, and with that certain item you need to do a certain thing, and it is actually involved with a side quest called the Wyvern Philosopher's Side Quest. It is important in versing an extra hidden boss within the game, and in which you get a reward for doing it. So, I'm not saying anymore, but anyhow, I'll meet you at the location where we have to go, so you're back. to fight when listening to this sort of music. Well, actually, to be honest, I know I want to, but still, this music is awesome. Just, the Sorobi Step is such an amazing place. Anyhow, um, yes, yeah, so on a side note, this is where it's located, as you've seen from my awesome Photoshop skills, the North Ward. I was going to say North Ward, but anyhow. North Ward, basically, the Viru will be standing there, and she'll be like, yo, dog, let's go hunt some dragon foo, and you're like, okay, let's rock and roll. So you walk in here, and everything is cleared. The reason why... There's the beastie, right there. So, like with any other fights, let us steal from him. Because we love stealing juicy lootations. Spiral and Sysis, who did charge a body, and that's not bad, it's not bad indeed. So now I'm going to equip the Nihapala, whatever the hell it's called. I'm going to cast a spell. And you have nothing anyway, so it doesn't matter. And now, like we do on any other hunt, Rebidify. Oh, you mad! You mad indeed! Alright, so now this guy's gonna be a cakewalk. All you have to do is equip the bubble belt again and beat the living shit out of it. After healing yourself up, of course. So, basically, that's all you have to do for this. It's not that hard. And, like I was saying before, once you've done this, and oh my god, do you seriously have to buff everyone? Really? Alright, I'll let you buff so I can explain. So yes, once you killed this beastie, uh, you get a certain item from the Viera, and what you need to do is it links closely to the um, Wyvern Philosopher's side quest. And after that, as you can see over there, there are some windmills. We need to go find one, I believe, called Number 10 Windmill. And we meet a guy, and what we have to do is the item we get from the Viera after finishing this, we hand it into him, and he gives us another item, which unlocks a certain door. And there you go, Viera Rucksack unlocks a certain door in the Summon Cave Palace. Viral, or Viral, Vanquish, however the hell you want to pronounce it. Just Dragon Dude. Be victorious, I reward you for your courage. Visit me at the White, Ca at the White Cap in Balfinin. I shall wait for you there. Alright, so, what we have to do is... Uh, 
let's check which one's number 10. It's number 9. That's number 10. Hey, it's a Moogle. Nice to see you again, Cooper. Got us working on the mills this time. I've been working on Moogle number 10. Trub trouble is, it's pretty much finished my work, but the world won't start. I can't figure out what's wrong. Alright, so that is why we need to back to Baffin Import and get the reward from the Vera, which gives us a certain item and I can start the windmill up again. So, I'll meet you back at Baffin Import. Thank you, I cannot have recovered my belongings without your help. I was fortunate to find such worthy aid. We have my gratitude. Awesome! Alright, so, for finishing, get my stuff back. We get 3,500 gil, a halberd, and a crystal shield, but those aren't the items that we need! The world is a wonderful place, filled with ideas as diverse as its people. Such individuality was not to be found in my home. Now, if you will return my belongings. What's this? There's something in the bottom of my haversack. It looks like a scale, shed by the creature. You slow it? I think it is only right that you should take the scale. You obtain a dragon scale! No, we're not getting a Kingdra, but yes, we will be needing that! For the Wyvern Philosopher's side quest, which I've mentioned a bazillion times within this part. If... A bazillion is like three or four times, but anyhow, I'll meet you back at the Moogle, and well, we can get our just reward or the item that we need to get that hidden reward, which is located in the Sewing K Palace. Yes, anyhow, be right back once again. Alrighty, people, so here we are. That is not the windmill I was looking for because I just jumped off my chocobo. Piss off, bird dragon thing. I'm sorry, I called you bird. Jesus Christ, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Come on, you can do more than that with telekinesis, man. Thank you. Alright, so, windmill number 10. I see you, little Moogle. I see you sitting on your ledge right there. Nice to see you again, Koopa. Got us working on the mills. Yes, we know. Yes. Hey, look, there's a Hume dude up there. Who's been making all that noise? Ah, so you're the Wyvern Philosopher. Cooper Poe, you shouldn't sneak up on people like that. What exactly are you doing up there in the first place? I'm observing. A natural philosopher must always observe. I come here to observe a rare breed of wyvern called the Viral. This top, the, the top of this windmill seemed the perfect spot for my observations, but I suppose I must have dozed off. Small wonder my work in the windmill met with so little success. You were more than dozing up there, Cooper. I'd say you were hibernating. <laughs> These people slew the Viral while you were sound asleep, Cooper. I saw the whole thing. What's this? You killed the Viral? Well, yeah, we have the dragon scale. <laughs> You've got your weapon drawn, man. What are you gonna do to him? He's like 70 years. He's really old. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. How long I searched for it only to fall asleep and it finally appeared. You just must be catching up with me. How could I let this happen? Maybe I'm getting too old for this. Oh my god, he's getting closer. Man, run! Your sword's pointed. Never mind. Just a moment. What's that you have there? Is that, could it be, a Varal scale? I knew better in all of evil is to recognize it for the treasure it, it is than I. Please, I must have that dragon scale. Sure, you can have the Kingdra instead. Thank you, thank you so much. My life's work is complete. I shall treasure this for the rest of my days. I must give you something by ways of thanks. Here, take this. It is a key set to open the door to a chamber holding the most terrible wyvern. Yes. Terrible wyvern. An age-worn key. Legendary... The legendary makes mention of the Wyvern's ferocity, but not its whereabouts. I'm sure one who could find and slay a Viral will have no difficulty finding and slaying this Wyvern. Pray let it be a glorious battle. Farewell. Wow. Did he seriously just... face walk himself out of the survey step with, like, frickin' wolves and Wyverns and I am blabbering on... Ah, logic! Square Enix, logic, anyhow, so... I will meet you at a bar, or a pub, so we can get another hunt! So, be right back! Okie dokie, I'm back. So basically, first things first, with the reward we got by handing in the dragon scale and getting the age-worn key, or the age-old key, whatever it is, the dragon that the guy was talking about, or the hidden reward, which I was talking about, I'll be doing that in a later part, so do not worry about it. I will tell you how to unlock it and do all the, all the jazz, I guess you could say, when I get up to it. So, anyhow, let's focus on the hunts for now. So the next one I'm going to be doing is Lind Wyvern. The Wyvern, or Wyvern, however the hell you want to pronounce it. It's rank 5, we're going to talk to Fermon and Arcades. 
An ancient people sealed away a legendary vibrant in the ruins of the Cedar Uplands. Now it stirs once more. We must stop it while we still can. Okay, from the look of it, it looks like it's some demonic dragon of doom. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, okay, you're in old Arcades. Righto then. Well, I will meet you at the petitioner's location. So, be right back. Alrighty, people. So, here I am at the petitioner's location. So, let's talk to this dude, Fermon. Oh, she's telling these youngsters about the ruins in Cedar Uplands. Be my life's work studying them. According to legend, an ancient people sealed away a terrible wyvern in those ruins. Four shrines there, there were, each with an iron colossus to hold the wyvern at bay. But now a wyvern roams the uplands once more. These wyverns are the ones and the same. These wyverns are one and the same, I'm certain. Hmm. Ah, you've come about the bill? Then I ask you to kill the beast before it grows too strong. The beast is a lind wyvern. Will you hunt it? The Iron Colossus of Cedar Uplands are only legend. No proof of them or the Wyvern have I found, but with your help, find it I shall. You must fell the Wyvern before it regains its lost strength. They say it will only appear under cover of cloud. Search with this in mind. If the legends are to be believed, the Lind Wyvern keeps the Highlands in Cedar. I pray you find it in time. Alright, so Lind Wyvern, the hunt begins. Now, basically what he was saying is, if we have a look, at her maps, not to the Seven K Palace, but to Cita Uplands or Cita, however you want to pronounce it. He says you can find a Lin Wyvern here in the Highlands, but it's also possible, from what I've heard, which I will correct myself if I'm wrong, but you can find it here in the Garden of Life Circle, and I believe you can, but I'm not entirely sure. And the only way you can find it is if it's raining, I believe, or if it's cloudy. So, basically, uh, you can tell when it's cloudy when there's no blue sky at all. And a good way of making the clouds or rain appear is to enter from the f uh, blah, 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 the Fon Coast. If you enter from the Fon Coast and into the Cedar Uplands and it's not cloudy, you exit and re-enter again and keep doing that until that's the case. And then you run down to here, Garden's Life, or up here at the Highlands, we'll find it and then we'll kill it. So, I will meet you where the hunt's located. So, we are back. Okay, people, I'm back. So, this is what the weather must look like. Cloudy. There's no blue sky at all. And also, I was incorrect in what I said before. If it's raining, that is the wrong weather type. It must be cloudy. It must not be raining. It must not be blue skies. Other than that, once you've got these weather patterns correct, which it only took me about five, six times, just entering and exiting right there between the Fawn Coast and um, Cedar Uplands. Anyhow, um, yes, so let's head down to the area where it's located, and I'm going to say now, I'm going to say this now, my bitch senses are tingling, because this hunt is a bitch -asaurus rex I don't know where I was going with that, but it has over 228k health, or around that, and trust me, its moves are dangerous, it buffs itself with protect and shell and all that jazz, there's a dangerous move called Stone Breath, which can petrify you. So, um, yeah. In other words, be very careful. I'd recommend having some... Ooh, here we go. We have a safe crystal or whatnot, I believe. That's where it's located. And it's raining! This is bad indeed. I don't want it to be raining, but anyway, I'm going to heal myself up. So, yeah, just make sure you've got remedies or items such as that to counteract it. And, well, let's see what happens. Actually, no, I don't want to save. What am I doing? What am I doing, Anubis? I don't want to save, there's no need to save, it's not as if I'm going to die on this. Oh god, I hope not. Nah, I'm joking, I won't die. Oh. Okay, where are you located, big boy? Come out, big boy. Where's the big Lin Wyvern? Come on. I can't see any monsters. Holy Jesus, you're one big mother trucker, aren't you? Alright, let's take you down, foo. So, this guy has a lot of health. I'm just, just saying it now, be very careful. That was the worst steal ever. Damn it, I hate those sort of steals. Um, I, no, 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 you do not replace Ultimate Blade with Blood Sword. What are you doing, woman? What is wrong with me? What am I even doing now? I'm getting near Polo. No, near. Okay, that's it, that's it. No more mucking around. Let's pull our together. Let's 
pull our shit together indeed. There's the spell. Alright, you hit decently, I guess, for a um, hunt. That is only... I can't remember what level you are. You're like 39, I think? 40? Remedy and... Yeah! Okay, that's awesome. Now we need to switch the Neopolibus out, put the bubble belt on, cleanse myself of my disease type thing, and then bring out my rip party members and beat the living shit out of it. Let's go, team! Now, also, there's one other thing I'd like to mention. I believe when you get to 75% of its health, or 50%, I'm pretty sure it's 75, he does a move where he likes to, I don't know, heal himself up and reapply Protect and Shell. So that can be very dangerous in some cases, which is why I recommend being prepared. Stone Breath, this is one of his dangerous moves. Wow, 1.5k, that's, that's a very good amount of damage, especially for level 99s. Now, of course, when any other hunt, there you go, he's used it then, and he's going to restore and heal himself up. He is great at barrier, which adds all the protects and stuff on, and when he gets on low health, he's going to be taking less damage, because he goes into like some critical stance, where your attacks, both physical and magical, do less damage. So, all you have to do is keep wailing on him, I guess, and can you stop healing yourself? Be a good little dragon, and die. Or oh, wyvern, my bad, big difference. I do like the design on it though, it does look pretty freaking badass. Alright, nearly dead. Nearly dead. Let's finish you off. It's a critical stance plane, or doing its work, because I'm only doing 2k damage. And lucky I'm level 99, or else that would have anal raped me. Huzzah! Victory achieved! You obtain a rusted scrap of armor. Lindwyvern, vanquished. All right, so that was a pretty fun hunt. I actually enjoyed doing that compared to some of the others. So, closest teleport stone, right up there. Awesome. All right, well, I will meet you at the Petition of Dude in the Sewing Cave Palace. Ow, wow, wow, wowchie, wow, wow. All right, I'll meet you at the Petition of Dude in the Sewing Cave Palace. We're just above it, which is Old Arcades. I meant that, I swear I did. Anyhow, be right back. So, you've slain the mighty Lindwyvern of the Seated Uplands. Thank you, my boy. My boy! This beast is for all true boy. Okay, that is really a perfect time to say that. <laughs> oh my god. All legends, decaying bonds, 4,200 gil, barrel coat, and a high ether. That was perfect. That was just a brilliant way to say that meme. Yes, Ross has scrapped the armor. What of it? Could it be? Proof that the Iron Colossus were real. What fortune? What fortune, my boy? Okay, enough of that. Anyhow, so, I'll meet you back at a, not a wall, that's not where I'm gonna go. I'll meet you back at another billboard. We will get one more hunt done in this part. For my name is not Anubis. Well, it actually is, but big difference. Anyhow, I will meet you at the billboard for another hunt. Be back! Okay, dokie, so I'm back here at the nurse board. The next time we're going to be doing is none other than Roblon. Or Roblon, however you want to pronounce it. It's a giant walking two-legged metallic tower thingy. It's rank six, so we gotta to talk to Morgan and now been a fortress. I've heard a hellish creature now makes its home in the Nabrius Deadlands. Please, Nabradia was once my home. I cannot bear to see it so profaned. Alright, so looks like we gotta kill some mega ass titanic two-legged metallic tower thing, I guess. And you're located there. Okay, it's not so bad. At least I can teleport there. Right, so, I'll meet you at the petitioner's location. We're back. And of course, the petitioner is located by himself in the corner of the freaking city. So, yeah. Hmm, mighty young to be hunting marts, aren't you, boy? Well, good for you, I say. I heard a party of adventurers who had recently passed through the Nabrius Deadlands mentioned seeing the hellish golem. Please, Nebradio is once my home. I cannot bear to see it profane so. And this golem? No. No, surely it is not. Would you kill this golem for an old man? It's up your pain, bro. Yes, that's the spirit. Never lose it. Now, as for this golem, it roams somewhere beyond tall grasses in a bank of thick fog. It is known as the Roblon. It was my son, who... No, no, go now and take care. Wow, dude, that's... Okay, so supposedly that metallic piece of 
two-legged crap is his son. I wonder if we'll get to find out more about it. So anyhow, I will meet you at the place where it's located in the Nabrius Deadlands, which, if you do not remember, is located next to the Salica Wood. Well, I believe it is. And I'm going to double-check now. So, we have the Mossforan Highways. We have the Salica Wood. And we have the Necrohol of Nabadis. Okay, so it's past the Necrohol of Nabadis, and then we're at the Nabrius Deadlands. Jeez, man. Anyhow, I'll meet you all there. So, be back. Yes. Welcome everyone to the Nabrius Deadlands. So surprisingly I haven't actually been here before, which is odd, I thought I had, but I was correct, thank you very much. It is near the Salika Wood, but I haven't actually explored this place. Which is going to suck because we need to find the Roblon. But basically it's in a place called the s uh, northwest of the Slumbermead, I believe, something like that. It's hidden in some tall grass, so. Yeah. Let's go adventuring, people. I am actually going to skip killing you because I don't need to. But, um, yeah, this place was basically destroyed with, um, nobodies, with all the explosion and that, with Judge Zekt and all that. I'm not entirely sure about the lore behind it. And great, we have a save crystal, so I'm going to use that. And there's a new Mal. Let's try talking to him, see what he says. You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. Bad for the circulation, you know? Behold, the rune Nephesite is wrought on Nebodies. No shadow of its glory remains. It is a spawning pool for creatures that feed on mist. If you hold life dear, you will turn back. Me? I am Maca Macleo. I await the coming of a hero. One to destroy the creatures sealed in Nebodies. Who foresaw the coming of a hero? And by way of preparation, I, barely, I bade my disciples fetch the keys that will break the seals of Nebodies. Rokemau and Rokemu are loyal, but it cannot be said they are quick. You may yet see them returning from this task. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that guy will become important later on. This music's peaceful as well for a place that's been utterly wiped out by Nephesite. But yes, they'll become important later on, and this is basically what the Nabity Deadlands looks like. So we've got the Veil of Lingering Sorrow. So, now we need to find a place with a lot of fog called the Slumber Mead. And as a heads up, you will be finding a lot of undead people here. Whoa, 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 whoa. And they are decently strong. Alright, so where's this place? Hope's Reach. I was considering actually cutting this out, but I think I'm going to show all you viewers what this place looks like, just because I haven't actually been through it. And I think it would be a good idea that I actually did that anyway, because, you know, we're going to have to come back here a few times for some other hunts, and also for an Esper. But I'm not saying what Esper it is. I'm keeping that secret. But, as a hint, it's got something to do with that new Mao. Alright, so where's this has got a lot of fog, mist, whatever you want to call it. Aha! Alright, so northwest of the slumber mead. So I would assume it'd be over here through some grass or something. There's some grass, there's a giant emerald titan turtle thing and the jig. Alright, it's a chest. That's a broken path. And here we go. Looks like I found it. Awesome source. Alright, so the Roblin's just up here. And, well, I can assume we're going to steal, we're going to dispel, and then we're going to beat the living sh out of him. Of course, after using Remedy. Now, there's a thing you want to watch out when versing this guy as a heads up. He summons a lot of dead bones or undead monsters. And, um, basically, 
with these monsters, they put reflect on them. So you're not able to destroy them, like using Curaja and stuff, and they'll reflect all your spells back onto you. So what you need to do is you need to either use a thing called, I believe it's an opal ring, which breaks through reflect, or you need to just destroy them with melee attacks. So these are all the dead bones that get summoned, but there it is. This is pretty big. Alright, well, I guess I'll take care of these with some melee hits. Once I bring out my rear party members. Okay. And I didn't realize Van was dying. Uh, Penelo, you just take care of that. And you take care of that as well, Bash, as well. I just said as well as well, I don't know why, but whatever. And now everyone's getting blinded and I don't know why. Okay, I don't know what's wrong with my commentary, but this is some of the worst commentary I've ever seen. And they seem to keep respawning, which isn't good, people. Alright, let's just take down this guy. So, I've already got them equipped, but equip your thief's cuffs. Steal from him. Firestone, Nugget of Iron Ore, okay, it's not bad. Switch to your Neha Pala whatever you, hold, blah, 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 you want to call it. <laughs> what is with my commentary on this hunt? I just, I don't know anymore. I don't, I don't know. Alright, let's use it on this dude. Remedy. And he has a Protect, which I should have dispelled, so I'll do that. And if I have to reapply a remedy, then that's fine, I don't mind. Okay, let's see. Blind sap, and you don't have slow, so I'm going to reapply a remedy. I'm pretty sure you had slow on, they got rid of it, but yeah. And just to be safe. There we go, so apparently Dispel gets rid of the um, slow effect, which I didn't realize, but that's interesting. No, I don't want Sage's Ring, I want Bubble Belt. Alright, so everyone, it's time to take care of the Roblon. That's another thing I should, might as well mention, the Roblon is a move called Fear, which reduces one target's MP to zero. So you need to be very careful, considering that you have these Dark Bones beating the living shit out of you. Marsh, get on Roblon, you two Pinello. Actually, you can just kill one of those. Um, okay, you guys can take care of that, and Van can take care of Roblon, I guess. And Bar, she can take care of it as well. Now, I might as well just use Scaife. They don't have Reflect on, they don't have Reflect on, they don't have Reflect on. Awesome, let's use it. Alright, you attack Roblon again. You attack Roblon. This is extremely monotonous. And I just got a chain level, which is awesome, I guess. Man, what are you doing? Attack Roblon. Vanello can heal up. Then can keep attacking. Alright, that appears to be working. And it's nearly dead. Come on, Bash, Vanello, let's go. Take care of the Roblon. Finish it off. This commentary is terrible. I need to finish this hunt off and move on to ending this whole part off. This whole episode. Although I do like picking up all these juicy lutations, it is very nice indeed. And you can attack, and you can attack. It's nearly dead. Awesome. One more hit. Maybe two. There we go. Finally, after, what, eight minutes, nine minutes now, just wandering around trying to find the bloody hunt in the first place, because I hadn't unlocked this place, let alone gotten the map. 
Right, Rublon has been vanquished, and I said that a bit too late considering Teltex is gone. What are you saying, Anubis? Cut the video now. I'll meet you back to petition and get a just reward. Die, you stupid skeletons! Alrighty, people, you knew I had to get it after screwing up that badly, but basically, here's where the map urn is. Seeming as though I hadn't been here before. But it's here, the Veil of Lingering Sorrow. I'm in the top part there. It's just after the zone called the Muted Scrap, I believe, where the Namau is. So, tap it. Of course, poof pops up into the air, and we get a map of magic candiness. And wonderful rainbows, and yeah, whatever. Anyhow, I'll meet you back to position now, so let's get our just reward for killing that wonderful two legged metallic titan thing. My god, this whole episode part. Or part, I, I, I don't know, my commentary is just dying outwards, including my insanity. Uh, meet you all back at the petitioner. Be right back. Okay, so here we are back at the same town, such as Nalbanine. Let's get this freaking hunt over with people. Let's talk to Morgan. Morgan Freeman. You've done it. You've stopped the Roblon. I was afraid to tell you before, but the Roblon was made by my son. He was made by your son. I thought he was your son. You're a deceptive old bastard, aren't you? When I heard its description, I knew it could be no other. My son died two years ago in the war. Without its master, the Roblin must have begun its rampage in the ruins of Nabodies. Hey there, Joby! Ah, Morgan, what is it? Making any progress on that golem hunt of yours? And if you haven't already guessed, yes, this is a part of the side quest for Joby. An astute guess, but much more than progress. The hunt is finished, thanks to this boy. You're still young yourself, Joby. Isn't it high time you... What's that guy's problem, huh? He won't even let me finish my sentence. Good of him to take an interest in troubles of an old man, but he can be an old man, that Joby. But it's to you I owe my thanks, and a bounty, I believe. Here you go, boy. My boy. Thank you. Thank you indeed. So, for finishing, adding insult to injury, 3,100 gil, a giant's helmet, and one mithril, which is awesome. So, I'm pretty happy with this part. I'd say it was pretty successful, except for my dreadful... It, stupid... I can't, I can't even think of any words for it. Just my terrible commentary during the last part with Roblin. Uh, anyhow, so, three hunts done. That's the Viral, Limwyver, and Roblon. I pretty much do for a part. I'm Nubis from the Obsessed Place, also from Sister Productions. If you have been watching Let's Play Final Fantasy XII Part 85, I'll see you next time in Part 86. We will continue with the normal jazz, taking down hunts, elite marks, all that sort of stoof, espers, if I have the time or I feel like doing it. So, have a fantastic day and goodbye!